Hello everyone, I am Karthik Chandran, the Director of Data Science at Optisal Business Solutions. Here I am going to do a live demo for calculating the k nearest neighbors using numpy functions in Python. Let me start with describing the problem before uh, writing the code. Uh, k nearest neighbors is uh, calculating k could be two or three in it, it is any a, a constant and then uh, k nearest neighbors is uh, calculating k uh, number of uh, neighbors for every point uh, described in a data set like this for example For example, for this particular point, the, the two nearest neighbors will be this and this. Uh, how we will calculate this diagonal distance is for these two points here and he here and then here, we'll calculate the, uh, the, the vertical, dist vertical and horizontal distances along the x and y axis and then we'll square the sum of the squ uh, squares to get the uh, a diagonal distance that will give us the distance between these two points. Similarly, for uh, for the points this and this, we'll calculate the sum of the squares of the uh, differences along uh, differences along the x and y axis. You know, to calculate the diagonal here. Similarly, for the, for to calculate the distance between this and then this, we'll calculate the sum of the squares of the differences along the two axes to calculate the diagonal distance and so on. So for every point we will calculate the, the diagonal distance to every other point in the data set first then we will sort the list to get the k uh, nearest neighbors you know the points that has the least distance and then uh, we will plot uh, those uh, points mm, those neighbors for every point in this data set we will plot the k nearest neighbors uh, to, to see where they are okay okay let me start with you know uh, initializing my environment okay step number one step number two is uh, creating a Step number two is to create a list of uh, 10 points, uh, random points. Uh, and then we can plot them. Okay, so this is our uh, our data set. This is how it looks. Okay, the first step is to calculate uh, the, the first step is to calculate the uh, the distance between the to, from every point to every other point by first calculating the difference along the x-axis and then the difference along the y-axis and then calculating the sum of the squares of the two distances. That we will do using these you know like that we have to do by creating these um, three dimensional arrays from from our uh, original data set see what's happening here is this is uh, the x is a 10 by 2 matrix it has 10 points uh, 10 uh, data points with x and uh, y y values along the uh, two columns so what we need to do is we need to create a 10 by um, a three dimensional matrix and then um, that will shift the X and then Y axis uh, by one dimension so that when we calculate the sum of the differences like this 
we will we will we will end up with a 10 by 10 by 2 matrix so this has like for every point in the data set it has the distance uh, for every other point in the data set along the x and y axis so that's what this 10 by 10 by 2 3 dimensional matrix contains so now that we found the difference now we have to you know find the squares of the difference So the squares of the difference obviously will have the same shape as the differences except you know the values are squared. Now we have to calculate the sum of the squares to get the diagonal difference. So the, the resulting data set is a two-dimensional 10 by 10 uh, matrix. So this is the actual distance, the diagonal distance for every point to every other point from every point to every other point in our data set so you know you know we have taken k to be 2 so this is two nearest neighbors um, so we initialize k and then we calculate the and then we calculate the uh, for every point the Two nearest neighbors or actually it should be k plus 1 because for every point the itself is the nearest neighbor you know so other than itself we need to find two other neighbors who are the nearest uh, to every point hence we have k plus 1 and then the way to do that is by using the odd partition function defined in Python what this partition does is it will for every uh, point it will calculate a uh, you know k plus one uh, smallest uh, distances and then it will give you the arguments of those values since we are more interested in plotting the act you know finding the neighbors rather than calculating the actual distance uh, uh, finding the arguments is what we need is, is what we need So the nearest partition looks like this so we are more interested in the first you know like in the first three uh, columns that has the nearest neighbor for every point in the system the two nearest neighbors we have already calculated it now what we need to do is to plot um, the 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 nearest neighbors in the map and then see how it looks So let's uh, plot the, the uh, uh, yeah the, let's plot the uh, the uh, points in a in, in a plot uh, so that we can remember how it looks. Now what we are what we are going to do is we are executing these two lines of code, three lines of code actually. Uh, it's a little bit uh, you know dense, but I'll try to explain you know uh, what's going on here. Okay, let me do that one more time. Okay, this is yeah, this is our uh, data set. Uh, this is the original data set uh, that we are working with, and this is our near nearest neighbors. See, like what's happening here is you know we have already calculated the nearest neighbors and then it is stored in this uh, nearest partition this we calculated using the uh, org partition function the org partition function uh, and then specifying how many dimensions we are interested in in uh, finding the the nearest uh, uh, neighbors arguments
Okay, now what's happening here is for every element in that uh, original data set, that's what for i in range of x dot shape of 0, x dot shape of 0 will be 10. So we are iterating through every um, point in the data set followed by the first, you know, we are querying the nearest partition data set you know, uh, for that particular uh, I, uh, point in the data set, we are getting the first k plus one uh, columns, you know, which are the nearest neighbors, including the point itself. And then this combination we are plotting using this function. Uh, zip is the one that, cal that draws the line. And then we are calling the zip function on uh, the pair of j comma i on the original data set to draw the line between the points and then we are going to color it black and then this is how the plot looks like as you can see like for this point the nearest neighbors are this and this and then for this point the nearest neighbors are this and this and so on so this is a quick and easy implementation of this k nearest neighbors a uh, problem using uh, pa functions defined in the numpy package um, just to review the most important uh, in, you know the functions that we have used or if we use this np.new axis to split a two-dimensional uh, matrix into a, a three-dimensional matrix by shifting the x and y axis so that you know these kind of uh, different calculating the difference between the x and y axis for the every point in the data set is possible that we do that by calling the np.new axis it creates a new dimension uh, where it is uh, specified so then once we create once we do that we calculate the difference in a between the two uh, in a three dimensional matrices matrices that we created here to get the differences uh, the along the x and y axis for every pair of point in the data set then we are squaring the differences then we are calculating the sum of the squares of the differences and then this npr partition is probably the next most important function all it does is it takes a data set and then for uh, the k plus one for the number of uh, columns you specify here it will partition the data set in so that like the the the, the k plus one nearest neighbors are partitioned to the front of the data set and then the rest of the data set is uh, left alone uh, doing an org partition like this is more efficient than just doing an org sort and then uh, taking the first three columns since we are not interested in sorting the the, the points beyond the k plus one nearest neighbors once uh, and then nearest partition is a uh, you know a 10 by 10 matrix that contains the arguments uh, of the, uh, the, the uh, that contains the points the arguments of the points that are the nearest neighbors we do the arg partition because we are not interested in calculating the actual distance between the two points we are just interested in calculating what the points uh, in a, the clo what uh, the closest points are so this is an important uh, use of this function or partition to calculate the you know the closest uh, neighbors now that we calculated the nearest uh, partition what we are doing here is we are plotting you know we are iterate if we are plotting the result we are plotting the result um, right there if we are plotting the result uh, in a plot so that we can visually verify that it did find the nearest neighbor and then this visualization plot is done by number one iterating through every point into the data set and then number two for every point into the data set finding the first k plus one columns in the nearest partition data set and then plotting the plotting the lines using the zip function for every pair a pair of i and j and that's how we get the resultant plot